Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this cartridge filter on my shop vac, and I'll go through this step by step. But before we begin, you wanna make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And this cartridge filter does work for wet or dry pickup and make sure that you get the correct cartridge filter for your shop vac and make sure that you read through all of the information on the label. And this one is a medium filtration filter. They do make different versions of this just depending on what you're vacuuming up. Okay, so I took the packaging off and I noticed there is like some hot glue here that was used to hold the label on. And I was thinking about trying to remove this, but it's on there pretty good and I don't want to damage the filter. So I'm just going to leave it. And make sure to refer to your shop vac owner's manual for all the specifics on this process. And on the back of the label, here is all of the instructions and cleaning and warning information. So make sure to read through all of this information. This filter retainer was also inside of the cartridge filter. All right, guys, so I have on my safety equipment, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles and a good quality mask. And then next, we wanna make sure that the shot vac is off and unplugged and make sure that the hose is out of the way so that you don't trip over it. And also make sure that all of the accessories are out of the tool holder so when we take the top of the shop back off they don't fall all over the place. Okay so there are latches on this side and this side of the shop back so I'm just going to undo both of the latches like so. Okay so I've set this old t-shirt off to the side that way when I take the top of the shop back off I can set it onto the old t-shirt to try to prevent scratches on it. Okay, so now I'm going to lift up the top of the shop back and then gently set it down onto the old t-shirt like so. Okay, so this is the dry filter and mounting ring and I'm going to take these off and then I'll be right back. I do have a video where I show how to remove and install the dry filter and the mounting ring and I'll link that video at the end of this one and if you're interested in half time, please check that video out. Okay, and this is the foam sleeve. And depending on your shop vac, you might be able to use the foam sleeve with the cartridge filter. Refer to your owner's manual for all the specifics. If you do use the foam sleeve though, currently it's on the outside of the groove. You need to tuck it on the inside of the groove and I'll show you what that looks like. And if your shop vac is capable of using the foam sleeve with the cartridge filter, this is what the foam sleeve looks like when it's tucked on the inside of the groove. I'm not going to use the foam sleeve with the cartridge filter though, so I am going to remove the foam sleeve now, and I do have a video showing how to do that as well, and I'll link that video at the end of this one, and if you're interested in half time, please check that video out. Okay, so I'm taking the cartridge filter and putting it over the top of the filter cage, and then the bottom of the cartridge filter fits on the outside of the groove, and it is a pretty snug fit. So just take your time and make sure that you get the cartridge filter secured all the way into place like so. Okay, so here is the filter retainer and there are these two slides on each side and these slides are going to go underneath two of the plastic tabs on the filter cage. Okay, so now I'm going to take the filter retainer and put it into the middle of the filter cartridge and line up the slides on the filter retainer with the plastic tabs on the filter cage. And it tells you right here which direction to turn the filter retainer to tighten it and which direction to turn the filter retainer to loosen it. Okay, so now I'm going to hold on to the shop vac with one hand and then turn the filter retainer to tighten it all the way down into place like so. And the filter retainer was still sticking up a little bit on this side, so I just gently pushed it down into place. And something to keep in mind, if you are going to be using the cartridge filter for wet pickup, you're going to need to remove the filter bag. Okay, so now I'm going to line up the cartridge filter into the middle of the filter bag and then line up the latches and gently set down the top of the shop back like so. Okay, so now I'm going to re-secure the latches, the one on this side and the one on this side. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video and I hope it's been helpful and thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in learning more about the shop vac, I do have other shop vac videos and I'll link those videos at the end of this one. And if you're interested in half time, please check those videos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.